God gave my wife and me the gift of infertility. They needed a home. We really wanted to be parents and our hearts and lives were transformed in the process. Win, 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 right? But foster parenting and adoption is hard, like really hard, but it's the hardest, best thing I've ever been a part of. And that's where Roe v. Wade comes in, because if it goes away, do we pro-lifers know what we've signed up for? Because for the last 40 years, we have hoped for, voted Republican for, prayed for, marched for, tweeted for, picketed things for, sidewalk chalked for, begged God with all of our hearts for an end to Roe v. Wade. But did we ever stop and ask the question, are we ready for an end to Roe v. Wade? Because as one thing may come to an end, another thing would be about to begin more families in crisis, not less. More moms in need, not less. More boys and girls in distress, not less. More kids in foster care, not less. More adoptions, not less. If Roe v. Wade goes away, there will be less access to abortion, but not fewer moms and dads struggling with what to do about an unplanned pregnancy. What will fill the gap? Because the possible end of Roe v. Wade will create more opportunities, not less, to love and serve families, kids, moms and dads in need. And that's what I hope the pro-life movement is ready for. You know, the number one critique that comes from the pro-choice side of things is that pro-life really means just pro-birth. And you know what, they, they might be right if we don't put our money where our mouth is and our homes and our time and our families at the service of the needs that may arise in a post Roe v. Wade America. So let's be completely who we are, pro-life. We have the moral imperative, we have the resources, we have the families to get the job done. And finally, Foster parenting and adoption has been one of the greatest gifts of my life. Would you open your heart to the possibility of becoming a foster or adoptive parent? To be a part of not just an end to Roe v. Wade, yes, but a part of a revolution of care for kids and families in crisis across the country.